All right, Joey, what do you got? Car. Look at that, buddy. All right, now I'm gonna, you're gonna bring it over to me and I'm gonna take it off, okay? So that was my youngest son, Joey Joe. That was on a really ugly day and it started raining and I didn't catch one. So the next day we went back and we caught some more carp. I knew it wasn't a fluke so I'm gonna explain to you what I was doing to catch these carp now I got to give credit where credit is due I watch a ton of YouTube videos trying to learn how to catch different species of fish and I learned this technique on how to catch carp from uncut angling if you haven't watched uncut angling it's the best and the rig I'm going to show you to catch carp it's called the bolt rig you can see me on the video hooking it up. corn that's the bait I used for catching carp but remember to bring a can opener or even better bring corn that has a pop top so here's the rig and I did it on um, a simpler way than the European people do it I'm an American you like things simple I have right here a um, three-way swivel and then that's connected to my main line. I tied a weight to it but really close to the swivel with a really light line because if the weight gets stuck this line will snap not the whole line. And then you run some leader to your hook. Now here's where it gets interesting. There's a loop on the hook. You don't actually put corn on the hook. What happens is the corn gets on this loop and then the carp comes and sucks it up. But when he sucks it up, he gets the hook in his mouth. And then he runs away like, and then your pole starts dancing. You got a carp on. It's still on. Is it still on? First step is to take a hook and this hook I'm going to bend straight. Also make sure you're using a, a hook with a barb. You want a hook with a barb. A barbless hook would be bad. You need a barbed hook. 
The next thing, the next thing you need is the leader. Now you would use something that's clear, but I'm just using this for display purposes. I use probably only a foot of leader. Now before you even tie anything onto the hook, we're not going to put anything onto the hook yet. We have to tie a loop. What you do is you actually make a loop. You see that? So you make a loop and you're going to tie it around your finger. So you're making a loop knot. You go around my finger, then you go through. Okay, you see that? Mm -hmm. So now I have a loop, you see? And you tighten it up. Okay, now remember I tied this line, so I'm going to use the back end to slide the hook on. So I'm putting the line in with the hook down. Okay, so hook down, thread it through, boop, and I'm going to pull that line all the way back to just before where the loop starts. Um, I could get rid of this tag line right now too. Okay, so you see how there's this loop hanging off the back end? I want that. That's what I want. I want it to be close to the hook but hanging off it. Then I'm going to loop around my hook six to ten times. I wasn't counting. I don't know how many times I did it. But once I've done that, I've got it all around. I'm going to put my line right through the eye again from behind the back. Okay? So I'll put it through the eye. And then pull. Ugh, that's it. E -e -e. So now I've got my loop and I've got my hook. And that's my knot. I have to tie this leader back to my main line or to my swivel. But I've got my leader with my hook. hook this is where this bent hook comes into play now I'm gonna get corn see just put push them on bloop all right that's enough so I got my corn on my hook remember I wanted a barbed hook it's because the barb snags the line and then you push okay see that Okay, now I've got my corn on. There's one problem though. Like, it can slide off the back end. So what I was using, because I was by a park, is I put a piece of grass or a twig on the back end and I bent it. And then I pushed everything back like this. And then it stayed on. But, you know, this is really fat line. It kind of destroyed my corn. But then I casted it out. So that's it. It would sit on the bottom. Then the carp would come up. There's my hand, the carp. And then it would get hooked. Right in the side of its mouth. It really did work. I'm not making it up. This is the hook I really used. I was just using this monster catfish hook to give you a display, but you can see that leader is, is tiny. And the hook was tiny. Oh. oh, this is a bigger one. This is a bigger one. Oh, that is a big one. You gotta catch a big one, people. Yeah, this one feels bigger. When he comes, I'll net him. Oh. It's 
coming right at me. It's coming right at us. Oh. Oh my, that's big. That's a monster. Hey! Now, that's Lily. Big. Oh, wow. That's big. Look how big yeah, this carp is. Good boy. That's a monster. That's a monster. Oh. I want to help him. That, that's big. Can I let him go, Dad? I will. That's Can I? Look how big I'm that gonna is. I'm going to estimate it. I'm going to say that. 25 Am I inches. in this beautiful picture with this lovely car? I'm going to say 25 All right, come on, let's go let this go. I want to let you. Wow, and that was big. Oh, let's see it swim away in shallow water. Oh. <laughs> Look at all the dirt. Oh, wow, okay. that was big. So I got down to 12 species. Thank you Uncut Angling for helping me learn. I love your videos, keep making them. And thank you to everybody that's watching. You guys are number one. Come here, Nick. I saw Nick's gonna do the outro. Nick, you gotta put up a number one. Oh yeah. And you gotta go over close to the camera. You're right in front of me, go. Yeah! Head around. Wait, let me see him. There you go. Hey, Bye -bye. He was great.